Hi, Tatiana is here and welcome to my studio. Today I'm gonna work with watercolor and I'm going to paint this fish. Uh, probably I will put it here, just one, just one fish. And um, let me set up a very simple composition. I'm gonna put maybe some uh, one piece of lemon here and a few uh, uh, green accents with uh, with dill. I'm gonna put this dill here and maybe in this area and maybe just a little bit here and there and that's it okay uh, let me talk a little bit about my paints this is my basic palette cobalt blue rose mother permanent and uh, nickel as azo yellow and maybe during the pain uh, the painting uh, process i will squeeze more uh, paints on my palette um, probably i will have um, prussian blue french ultra maybe neutral tint or paints gray and lemon yellow maybe prussian green and uh, probably that's gonna be enough we'll see but i always rely on my basic palette Sometimes when I need the darker value, I just replace cobalt blue with uh, French ultramarine. I have arches, watercolor paper, uh, 300 grams, cold press. And let me do a very quick uh, drawing of my fish. I really enjoy painting from life. I think this is the life is the best teacher in any any medium and i have my uh, light source from the uh, from the left so i have the cast shadow here this is pampano Pampano fish and I don't know why but uh, uh, you know fish uh, I, I know a lot of artists who really like to paint in fish this is my probably um, third time when I paint fish it would be interesting to do a series of different type types of fish We'll see. So the um, shape of the fish it uh, looks very uh, not really complicated, but it's very important to see you know all of these proportions. I also using uh, my old need eraser. It's a really uh, good one when you don't it doesn't destroy the surface of the paper. I see the uh, little highlight 
and the fish eye when I do this uh, quick uh, watercolor studies I never I never y use um, I don't use the um, mask masking fluid I just try to you know save this um, small spot and paint around around it that information is enough enough about this fish so the lemon gonna be here so uh, your view is a little bit different than mine just a little bit I see this uh, lemon skin and you probably don't and here is the cast shadow doesn't matter just something is here something is there and okay that's about it I think I'm ready to paint and I'm going to apply water on both sides of my paper so just clean clean water big brush clean water okay more water since I my favorite technique in watercolor and it's uh, wet into wet so I need a lot of water in my paper not on the surface but in my paper so I I'm that's why I'm adding and adding water okay and I'm gonna so right now uh, the surface of my paper is too shiny that means it has a lot of water on the surface and I don't need a lot of water on the surface I need it inside the paper so I blot my paper a little bit and I will start painting so this is the very nice um, da, da Vinci uh, Casaneo uh, watercolor brush the flat one and I'm gonna use my basic palette blue red and yellow I'm 
going to start painting my my fish. As I said before, this is my third try of painting fish. First one I remember I did in 2017 <laughs> in watercolor, then uh, in 2020 it was painting in pastels, soft pastels, and now watercolor again. So I all I also have a horizon horizon blue on my palette. So I feel like I see some nice blue sparkles here oh no it's azo 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 yellow is so uh, intense you need to be very careful <coughs> with this paint <coughs> I'm gonna use in um, different brush <coughs> with uh, Transom, a uh, very cheap one. Mm, I bought it on Amazon, like I, mm, like twelve dollars or something. But I really like it. So I always uh, start with a big brush. And then continue with a smaller one. Sorry, I don't talk too much because I'm a little bit <clears throat> I'm a little bit sick and some it's kind of difficult to talk. <clears throat> and also it's a very you know Sometimes it's kind of difficult when you try trying to concentrate and painting and talking at the same time. It could be a challenge. So this is the transparent oxide red that I used here, and I. I mix it with uh, ultramarine.
gain more oxide red. So all colors in that um, fish are so muted, like different grays, difficult, uh, different amazing grays. Just some of them are more on the cool side. Some of them like here, like a warm gray, just a little bit of tint I see. A little bit of yellow tint I see here. So right now I'm <coughs> using my permanent uh, mother, rose permanent mother, because I see something, something uh, like pink in that area. Something yellow here and there. It's a very nice uh, subject to paint. You know, I really love uh, painting flowers. Flowers my favorite subject. But sometimes, uh, you know, I found it's very useful when you try to paint different subjects, challenging yourself. <coughs> Thirsty brush. I just uh, clean my brush, blot it, and I try to remove some uh, paint from the surface. Since my paper is still wet, I can do it. <coughs> Let me try, try different brush. Thirsty brush technique. Maybe even let me try this one. So this is a very nice brush. Um, they call it flower brush, flower brush from 
Uh, the brand, the, the name of the brand is Herent. Herent. It's uh, made in Korea. paint the fish eye. I'm gonna use mm, paints gray with the uh, transparent red oxide. Actually let me put some here. This really dark paint. See, I'm trying to save that white spot for highlight. Then I'm gonna use, actually, I'm gonna use my yellow. A little bit of red. So my palette is very limited and I uh, find it very helpful when I start painting with just uh, uh, three or four colors paints. It, it became, the process of painting became very, you know, easy for me. When, you know, I remember at the time when I had like 24 <laughs> paints so I was really you know frustrated what kind of what's the next one every time was my question what paint I'm gonna use for the next time when you have three or four so you just learn how to use only them I see some pattern. It's just a little bit visible. You know, painting from life, it's like painting on a planner. You feel that pressure of time and you learning how to simplify and uh, make your decision very, very um, quick. Especially with this technique wet into wet because just in a like, few minutes my paper will be dry and it's gonna be difficult to continue in that technique so I need to do it just in one go
I don't need here hard edges so I'm gonna smooth it soften it with a napkin When the watercolor mm, dries, it, it um, became lighter and lighter. That's why we always, I always need to add more value to some areas. because uh, at the beginning it looks okay but just you know five minutes later it became lighter and we need to add more pigment So I feel it in some areas it's still mm, wet, but it's starting to dry. So I need to hurry. And paint his its mouth. some details It's an interesting experience for me. I hope for you too. If you like it, please subscribe. Share it with your friends. I will appreciate it. And uh, I will paint right now the lemon. Let me clean my palette. Because lemon is nice and fresh lemon color, yellow color. I'm gonna use my azo um, yellow. Maybe a little bit of uh, raw sienna, just to kill that intensity. Mm, actually, I'll paint this deal first let me take um, no i'm gonna take prussian blue prussian blue and uh, rose yellow probably oh no transparent red oxide I don't, I don't like this brush for mixing my paints. Yeah, this is, is this is better. Okay, let's let's do this deal first. Hmm. 
So this is going to be the skin, then I'm going to paint around, around this deal. Saving some white. I'm gonna have more raw sienna here. Because I feel like I'm gonna need it. Some red. Okay, that's better. Just I'm gonna blot my paper here a little bit. And let's add more rose sienna. Because I want I want my lemon to be darker. Mm, it looks like a lime, not not lemon. For some reason, probably too much raw sienna. Just adding a little bit of water with a wet napkin and I'm gonna paint a few strokes of these greens and uh, here as well just one And also, I'm gonna I'm gonna 
close the window in front of me because it right now the mm, light is uh, different mm -hmm. let's do uh, the, uh, the, uh, the um, deal and the cast shadow just a uh, wet napkin use this brush a little bit darker because we need different value here different value, different temp temperature, olive green and like more cooler green. It's always nice to have variety of value and temperature and soft and uh, sharp edges. this white skin maybe I will try just blot with a paper towel yeah, it works you know sometimes it's too late but Right now I can do it. Okay, and also I need the cast shadow. Uh, for the cast shadow I'm gonna need white uh sorry mm, clean water. I'm gonna need just clean water because I really want my Cast shadow will be nice and soft. And it has very neutral color. So I'm gonna use my uh, triad my primaries maybe even more blue But here, actually, let, let me be very close to my fish. But here, my shadow needs to be darker. the same colors close to the fish it's uh, more on the cool side uh, 
a cool side of color temperature. And then more on the warmer side. Especially we have uh, the lemon very close. And I'm gonna add more value to this area, to this fin. You see that I have hard edge because paper it's getting dry. I don't like this spots. Uh, then cast shadow under the lemon. So for this uh, cast shadow, any uh, synthetic brush will work. Giving more detailed work to my lemon. And cast shadow here. I need it nice and soft. Maybe more on the blue side. Let me add a little bit of, of texture with the color pencil on my fish. And maybe more some detailed work here. Even Russian blue. Just a few accents. some raw sienna here as well. So 
So right now it's all about details. So you can put if, uh, you can put them as as many as you want. <laughs> it depends of the artist's personality. You know, I really like to keep my painting a little bit unfinished. So there are going to be some uh, space for imagination for a viewer. But I feel like I need to soften some edge here and maybe add more cast shadow here. But at the same time, I feel like I really need to stop because it's supposed to be very, very quick, like watercolor study uh, from life. And I'm going to put my signature somewhere here. with a very neutral medium value paint. And that's it. Um, I really like uh, this result and uh, I hope you will like it too. So thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Once again, my name is Tatiana. Please subscribe and uh, see you soon.